that's why I like such kind of that's why I like such kind of places. I learn it especially for you. Well, hello everybody. Nikki is here, but right now I cannot say that it's Nikki from Russia. I see uh, people saying like, "Glad you're back." Hi, Nikki from Australia. <laughs> Well, so I arrived to Istanbul just four days ago and the main reason is I am escaping my country, Russia, because of some political decisions of um, our government. Basically, we have a long-lasting war with Ukraine that started back in February. I was staying in Russia since that time without leaving, but last week kind of changed everything and for me and for literally hundreds of thousands of other people. Who decided to leave Russia? And the main um, reason, the main motivation for that is to avoid uh, personal danger of being drafted to Russian army. Learn what happened. Like I shared my story out there, but basically, I my girlfriend she felt very sad. Although she understood the reasons why I'm taking this decision and why we need to move like this, uh, she was super sad. So am I. And we literally had only 48 hours since the moment when we started to talk about that until the moment when I was leaving Russia for solving all kind of like uh, daily life things, uh, moving out of my rental apartment, um, packing this stuff, and then after all spending the rest of time together. So she was very, very uh, sad and affected uh, by that event. People who were supporting this war started to uh, show the opinion that they don't understand why this war is happening and they say they, they did not want it, they don't want to, to see this happen and surely they don't want to lose their friends, husbands, brothers or themselves in this uh, useless war. And uh, that's not only my personal opinion, that's what I hear in Russian internet, that's what I hear in Russian like telegram groups. I decided to live in Russia because I will never fight against Ukraine, against Ukrainian people. I'd like to say, all of this time, I, all of this month of war, I supported Ukraine. I went to a lot of protest march in Moscow. I, sp I wasn't silent. I spoke on the internet. I spoke in real life. I even made some donations to the Ukrainian army. But this, this mobilization was a, a last stop for me. So I will, I, tell you, I will never go to the war against Ukrainian people. I want to say to Ukrainian people that not every Russian uh, like a brainwashed zombie. It's my, just want to say, it's not my first time, uh, it's my third time as this protest march. So. And I will go tomorrow and day after tomorrow and every day. After, uh, until I, I'm telling, I'm telling here. So it's also about the future. I think yeah, maybe it's one first time in my life when I feel myself free, really free. I don't have any burden on my shoulders. We obviously did uh, get more work to do and um, now there are more requests. We are renting new apartments uh, for co-livings. We rented a new one in Istanbul. There were some volunteers who are now running temporary shelters in Kazakhstan, even in two different cities. There are talks about uh, opening one in uh, Serbia as well. So yes, there are more people fleeing, more people need some urgent help, accommodation, and uh, there are more requests for information, legal advice, uh, all that. Nobody wants to stay and die for Putin, so it's really hard to travel abroad when you cannot use your bank accounts, when it's uh, also difficult to get foreign currency from inside of Russia because of uh, the internal restrictions so this uh, this is quite an issue even for the people who have income or savings or whatever